All right, so for surface area of pyramids, remember a pyramid? Like, what's the difference between a pyramid and a prism, if you remember? Pyramid, it's like 3D, right? What's the difference between a prism and a pyramid? Cyrus? Rectangular, triangles on all sides. Like, I mean, like, Okay. Yeah, Good. Really. One base and all of the sides are triangles this time. Prism has two bases and the sides are rectangles, right? So good. Um, so a pyramid specifically is we're going to be looking at one base and all of the sides are always going to be triangles because they are pointy um, and all of the sides meet at that point. It's called the apex on the corner. And so because they need to meet at a corner, that tells you that all of the sides should be triangles, okay? Um, and so because we're looking at sides that are triangles, we need to know the area of a triangle like we did yesterday. That's the same example we saw yesterday. But I just wanted to remind you guys of the formula, area of a triangle. And then area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height. So we saw this example yesterday where... In a triangle, you take the base times the height, and then you divide by 2. Versus a rectangle, you just multiply the two sides together, length times width, okay? All right, so for concept, just like we did yesterday, we're going to find the surface area. We're going to draw the net of the pyramid. And you're going to find the area of each side and add all of the areas together, okay? For the purpose of this class, we're only going to be looking at the square or rectangular based pyramid. Sometimes you can have a triangular pyramid where the base is also a triangle. Um, you can have like a, a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon in the base. But for the purpose of this class, we're only going to focus on like squares or rectangles. Okay. So a square base pyramid versus a rectangular base pyramid. I want you guys to have a conversation with your partner, a person next to you. What's the difference between square and a rectangle? See if you guys can remember what's the difference. The lefties, go ahead and share first. Okay, square versus rectangle. What's the difference or what's special about a square? It's what? All sides are equal, right? In a square, all sides are equal. All sides are equal. So notice I have this side is congruent to all. Four sides are congruent, okay? Versus a rectangle, what's the difference between a square and a rectangle? What? Yes, each of the um, like opposite sides are equal to each other, but not all four of them are equal, right? So here, this length would be equal to this length, and then this width would be equal to this width. So that's the difference between a square and a rectangle. A square, all four sides are equal, Versus a rectangle, you have two pairs of congruent sides. And that's going to be important in today's lesson because we're going to see the difference between a, what to do when you have a square versus a rectangle for the base. Okay? So if we look at our um, first example, but I see some of you guys still copying that down, so I'll, I'll wait for a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first example here. Our first example says we have to find the surface area of the candle. So if I look at the candle, looking at the base, that's basically what you want to check first is the base. So this base, notice I have 12 by 15 on this side. So is that going to be a square or a rectangle? So 
sorry, a square or a rectangle? What do you guys think? It's a, uh, it's 12 like this, 15 like this. So it's going to be a rectangle because the sides are not the same, right? So if I were to draw my rectangle, um, if we draw a rectangle, we are going to have a side of 12 over here and then 15 right here. So how do I find the area of a rectangle? You just multiply, right? The formula, so this is the bottom. The formula for area of a rectangle is base times height. So for that, I'm just going to do 12 times 15. Okay. And that's going to be my first side is the bottom. So what is 12 times 15? One eighty, thank you. This is one hundred and eighty is my base, and then I'm gonna have two um, different sized triangles. I'm gonna have a triangle along. Um, can I flip this? Can I rotate it? I don't think I can rotate it, so I'm just gonna freehand it instead. Um, you're going to have a, a triangle on this side. So that triangle right there is actually going to be a different size triangle than this one. Notice this triangle over here is different than my pink one, right? Do you guys see that they're going to be two different sizes? Because I have one has a base of 12 and the other one has the base of 15. So then when I draw my triangles, I'm going to have two different triangles, okay? So I'm going to redraw them like on their own, like on the side over here. My blue triangle is going to have the dimensions. The base is 12 and then the side with the 12 has a height of what? This triangle over here with the base of 12 has a height of what? 11. So my height is 11. So I'm going to draw my little dashed line right here. My height is 11. So how do I find the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. So this one I'm going to do um, 12 times 11. And then divide by 2. So what is 12 times 11 divided by 2? 66. Yeah, thank you. So this is 66. And then notice I have two that are going to be the same. I have the left side and I also have the right side. It's going to be over here. So I have the left and the right are going to be the same. So I know that this is going to be two of those triangles. So I'm going to then add a 66 two times, or you can do 66 times two and add them together. Okay. Then I have the pink triangle. So if I look at the pink triangle, it's a different size than the blue one. So looking at the pink one, looking at the pink one, my dimensions here uh, is going to be this triangle right here, the 15, with the height of what? 10. This height is 10 right here. And I'm going to have two of those triangles as well because I have the front of the candle and I have the back of the candle. So I'm going to do 15, 15 times 10, and I'm going to divide that by 2. Uh, can you guys tell me what that is? 75? Okay, thank you. But I have two of those. I'm going to go add a 75 two times. And then 
at the end basically just go add all of those together and that's going to give you your total surface area so 180 plus 66 plus 66 plus 75 plus 75 462 okay thank you and our units are going to be what centimeters but area is squared and then don't forget to write a, just a quick little sentence. We're going to say the surface area of the candle is 462 square centimeters. Okay, but again, for this one, I had a rectangle for my base. A rectangle has two different side lengths. So because I have two different side lengths, we end up with two different triangles, right? And then we have two of each of those because I have the left side and the right side and the front and the back side of the candle, okay? Question? So, you know how we have to divide like, um, by two? By two? Uh huh. And then, like, add it two times. So yeah, because you have two triangles. Um, like, if I look at the pyramid, you have the bottom right. You have this triangle, and this triangle are the same, the left and the right. So, you have two of those triangles. So, you multiply, you, that's why you add 66 two times. And then you have the front and the back are going to be the same. So that's why you add 75 two times also. All right, so like instead of having square and a space, mm -hmm. so we're just writing 12 times 11 and then adding 2 times. Um, I don't understand what you mean. I'll add it to the equation. The reason why we divide by 2 is because the formula for a triangle is to divide by 2. But because you're multiplying by two, the two's kind of cancel. So technically, yes, it is 12 times 11, both of those together. All right, so let's look at our next example. Was our next one, no, what do you notice about the next one? Well, there's a four, a four, and a five. I'm not sure what you need to plug in. You probably have a box or something missing side. So this one has a base of four, base of four, and a height of five. Okay. I notice this one says we have a paperweight. It's the shape of a pyramid. You're supposed to find the surface area. So looking at the base, you always want to start with the base. Is this going to be a square or a rectangle? A square because the sides are the same, right? So this time I have a square, so I'm going to draw a square for my base. And my dimensions for the square are 4 by 4. And so how do I find the area of a square or a rectangle? Formula is base times height or length times width, right? So this is just going to be 4 times 4. So what's 4 times 4? 16, right? Notice on this one, though, if you look at this one, um, looking at the sides, trying to get my pointer, because this is a 4 and this is a 4, all of my four triangles are actually going to be the same this time because they have the same base, right? If I were to draw the um, triangles on the side here, this triangle and this triangle, those are actually going to be equal, right? All four of the triangles next to the side of the square are all going to be the same size, okay? So for this one, we're going to end up with the triangles but all four triangles are going to be exactly the same. So this time I have 
four of the same triangles, okay? So my base in this case is four, and then my height is going to be this right here is five. And to find the area of a triangle, that's what you do, base times height divided by two. So to find the area of all four triangles, you're going to do four times five divided by two. You get 10, okay? But you have four of the same triangles, right? So this time we're going to go plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Or you can just do four times 10 gives you 40 and then just add the 16. You could do that also, okay? So, or you can do 16 plus 4 times 10 because all four triangles are going to be the same. And what do you guys get? 56. And then the units are inches squared. And your sentence, you need to just tell me the paper weight, so the surface area of the paper weight. is 56 square inches. Okay, so Looking back again to the first example versus the second one, um, when you have a square, you're going to have four equal triangles, right? If we have a rectangle, you have two different side lengths, so you end up with two different triangles and two of each one, okay? You have still a total of four triangles, but two of them are different sides. In a square, the sides are all the same. So all four triangles are the same, okay? That's the difference. If you have a square, you have four equal triangles. If you have a rectangle, you have two pairs of congruent triangles, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and try the next one. Go ahead and try this one. See, is it a square or is it a rectangle? Because then that tells you what to do with the triangles. If it's a square, you have four equal triangles. Rectangle, you have two different triangles. So go ahead and try this one and see what you get. All right, so here's the work so you guys can check. And this time, uh, we have a square in the middle, right? So square in the middle is six times six gives you the 36. And because this is a square, this one's a square, so you have four triangles are congruent, okay? So in this case, you have the six times four divided by two, but you have four of those are the same, okay? All right, and then if we look at the other practice problem, here you have a whole bunch of different measurements, so make sure you have all the measurements on your paper. I know you have like boxes for fill-in, We have the two meters, three meters, 2.2 .2 meters, and 2.5 meters. So if we look at the base of this one, what base is it, a square or a rectangle? Square or rectangle? Anybody? Square or rectangle base? It's a rectangle. They're not the same, right? We have a three versus a two. So this one has a two meters and a three meters. So what does that tell you? How many different triangles do we have? We have two different sets of triangles, right? We have... Um, two different sets of triangles. You have one that has a base of two and you have the other one with a base of three. 
And then you're going to have two of those triangles and two of the green triangles, okay? You have to figure out what's the height for each of those triangles. And then um, find the area of all five pieces, and then you're going to go add all of them together, okay? So go ahead and try this one, and then I'll show you guys the solution.